Across Africa's vast landscapes, an extraordinary environmental restoration effort is taking place from the skies. Aerial reforestation programs are deploying millions of tree seeds and seedlings, using aircraft, drones, and innovative delivery systems to combat deforestation and restore degraded ecosystems at unprecedented scale. The Great Green Wall Initiative, spanning across the Sahel region, represents one of the world's most ambitious reforestation projects. This African-led movement aims to restore 100 million hectares of degraded land by 2030, stretching 8,000 kilometers across the continent from Senegal to Djibouti. Aerial seeding plays a crucial role in reaching remote and inaccessible areas where traditional planting methods would be impractical or impossible. Countries like Ethiopia have pioneered large-scale aerial reforestation, with programs that have planted over 4 billion trees in recent years. Kenya's aerial seeding initiatives target degraded rangelands and water catchment areas, while South Africa employs aircraft to restore fire-damaged ecosystems and invasive species-cleared areas. The technology behind aerial reforestation has evolved dramatically, incorporating precision agriculture techniques, GPS mapping, and biodegradable seed pods designed to maximize germination rates. These methods can plant trees up to 10 times faster than traditional ground-based approaches, covering thousands of hectares in a single day. This revolutionary approach to forest restoration represents hope for reversing decades of environmental degradation while providing sustainable livelihoods for millions of people across the African continent. Aerial reforestation technology has revolutionized large-scale tree planting through sophisticated aircraft modifications and precision delivery systems. Fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters are equipped with specialized hoppers, pneumatic dispensers, and GPS-guided distribution systems that can accurately place seeds across vast territories with remarkable remarkable precision. The most common aircraft used include modified agricultural planes like the Air Tractor AT802, which can carry up to 3,600 kilograms of seed paper. These aircraft fly at altitudes between 50 to 150 meters, using computer-controlled dispensing systems to ensure even distribution patterns. GPS technology allows pilots to follow predetermined flight paths with centimeter-level accuracy. Drone technology has emerged as a game-changer for smaller-scale operations and difficult terrain. Companies like Biocarbon Engineering have developed drone swarms capable of planting 100,000 seeds per day. These drones use compressed air to fire biodegradable seed pods into the ground at precise intervals, achieving planting rates up to 10 times faster than manual methods. Seed preparation involves creating specialized pellets or pods that protect seeds during aerial deployment. These biodegradable containers often include nutrients, growth hormones, and protective coatings that improve germination rate. Clay-based pellets dissolve gradually, providing sustained nutrition during critical early growth phases. Weather monitoring systems integrate with flight operations to optimize planting conditions. Ideal conditions include adequate soil moisture, appropriate wind speeds, and favorable temperature range. Advanced meteorological equipment helps operators identify optimal planting windows that maximize seed survival rates and ensure successful forest establishment. The Great Green Wall represents Africa's most ambitious environmental restoration project, stretching across 21 countries and covering an area three times the size of India. This continental initiative aims to combat desertification, restore degraded landscapes, and provide sustainable livelihoods for over 230 million people living in the Sahel region. Launched in 2007 by the African Union, the project targets restoration of 100 million hectares of degraded land by 2030. The initiative incorporates sustainable agriculture, water management, and community development programs. Aerial seeding plays a crucial role in reaching remote areas where ground access is limited by security concerns or difficult terrain. Countries participating have achieved varying levels of success. Senegal has restored over 12 million hectares of degraded land, while Ethiopia has planted over 4 billion trees as part of its Green Legacy Initiative. Niger has restored 5 million hectares through farmer-managed natural regeneration techniques combined with aerial seeding program. The project addresses multiple environmental challenges simultaneously. Climate change mitigation occurs through carbon sequestration, with restored forests capable of storing millions of tons of atmospheric carbon. Biodiversity conservation benefits from habitat restoration that supports endangered species and ecosystem recovery. Economic benefits include job creation in rural communities, improved agricultural productivity through soil restoration, and development of sustainable forest-based industries. The initiative has created over 350,000 jobs across participating countries, with many focused on tree nursery operations, seed collection, and forest management activities. Several African countries have implemented successful aerial reforestation programs, 
demonstrating the effectiveness of this approach at national scales. Ethiopia's Green Legacy Initiative, launched in 2019, achieved remarkable results by planting over 4 billion trees in a single year, with aerial seeding contributing significantly to reaching remote mountainous regions. Kenya's aerial seeding program focuses on restoring degraded rangelands and critical water catchment areas. The Kenya Forest Service has used aircraft to plant indigenous tree species across 50,000 hectares annually, targeting areas affected by deforestation and overgrazing. These efforts have improved water retention, reduced soil erosion, and restored wildlife habitat. South Africa employs aerial reforestation primarily for post-fire restoration and invasive species management. Following major wildfires, aircraft quickly deploy native seeds across burned areas to prevent soil erosion and accelerate ecosystem recovery. The Working for Water program uses aerial seeding to restore areas cleared of invasive alien vegetation. Morocco's ambitious reforestation program includes aerial seeding of argan trees in degraded areas of the Anti-Atlas Mountains. This initiative combines conservation of endemic species with economic development, as argan oil production provides income for rural communities while restoring forest ecosystems. Ghana's aerial seeding initiatives target degraded mining areas and deforested regions in the Northern Territories using aircraft to plant fast-growing native species that quickly establish ground cover and begin soil restoration processes. The selection and preparation of seeds for aerial deployment requires extensive scientific research and careful consideration of local ecological conditions. Native species are prioritized to ensure compatibility with existing ecosystems and maximize survival rates in challenging environments. Seed collection programs often involve local communities who gather seeds from healthy parent trees during optimal harvest period. This community involvement provides income opportunities while ensuring genetic diversity in planted forests. Seeds undergo rigorous testing for viability, disease resistance, and germination potential before aerial deployment approval. Preparation techniques vary by species and deployment method. Clay-based pellets protect seeds during impact while providing nutrients and moisture retention. Some programs use biodegradable polymer coatings that gradually dissolve, releasing seeds when soil conditions are optimal for germination. Pre-treatment processes may include scarification to break seed dormancy, fungicide applications to prevent disease, and growth hormone treatments to accelerate germination. Seeds are often mixed with fertilizers, mycorrhizal fungi, and other beneficial microorganisms that support early plant development. Quality control measures ensure consistent seed preparation and deployment. Batch testing verifies germination rates, while standardized preparation protocols maintain consistency across large-scale operations. Storage conditions are carefully controlled to preserve seed viability until deployment. Species selection considers drought tolerance, growth rate, soil requirements, and ecological benefits. Fast-growing pioneer species provide initial ground cover, while slower-growing climax species ensure long-term forest stability and ecosystem resilience. Aerial reforestation delivers significant environmental benefits that extend far beyond simple tree planting, creating positive impacts on climate, biodiversity, and ecosystem services across restored landscape. Carbon sequestration represents one of the most important climate benefits with newly planted forests capable of storing substantial amounts of atmospheric carbon dioxide. Mature forests can sequester 2 towers 6 tons of carbon per hectare annually, depending on species composition and growing conditions. Large-scale aerial reforestation programs across Africa have the potential to sequester millions of tons of carbon, contributing meaningfully to global climate change mitigation efforts, while supporting international carbon credit markets. Biodiversity conservation benefits significantly from forest restoration, as new habitats support wildlife recovery and ecosystem connectivity. Restored forests provide corridors that allow animal movement between protected areas, supporting genetic diversity and species survival. Many endangered African species, including elephants, primates, and various bird species, benefit from expanded forest habitats. Watershed protection improves dramatically through forest restoration, as tree cover reduces soil erosion, increases water infiltration, and regulates stream flow. Restored forests act as natural water filters, improving water quality while reducing flood risks and maintaining dry season water availability for communities and wildlife. Soil restoration occurs gradually as leaf litter accumulates and root systems develop, improving soil structure, fertility, and organic matter content. This process ultimately supports agricultural productivity in surrounding areas through improved soil health and reduced erosion. Despite technological advances and proven benefits, 
aerial reforestation faces significant challenges, requiring ongoing innovation and adaptive management approaches. Germination rates vary considerably based on rainfall patterns, soil conditions, and seed quality, with success rates ranging from 30-80% depending on environmental factors. Weather dependency creates major operational constraints, as aerial seeding requires specific conditions for optimal success. Adequate soil moisture is essential for germination, while excessive rainfall can wash away seeds before establishment. Drought conditions following planting can result in high seedling mortality during the critical first growing season. Funding limitations restrict the scale and scope of many programs, as aerial reforestation requires significant upfront investments in aircraft, equipment, and seed preparation. Long-term monitoring and maintenance costs add to financial challenges, particularly in remote areas where access is difficult and expensive. Security concerns in some regions limit access to degraded areas that would benefit from restoration. Conflict zones and areas with high crime rates pose risks to aircraft operations and ground support teams, preventing restoration efforts in some of the most degraded landscape. Technical challenges include optimizing seed distribution patterns, improving germination rates, and developing better seed preparation techniques. Research continues into new technologies that could improve success rates and reduce costs, including advanced drone systems and improved seed coating methods for enhanced survival rates. The future of aerial reforestation in Africa looks increasingly promising, as technological innovations, international cooperation, and growing environmental awareness converge to support large-scale forest restoration efforts. Emerging technologies promise to improve efficiency, reduce costs, and increase success rates across diverse African ecosystems. Artificial intelligence and machine learning applications are being developed to optimize flight patterns, predict optimal planting conditions, and improve species selection for specific sites. These technologies could significantly improve germination rates while reducing operational costs through more efficient resource allocation and better timing decisions. Satellite monitoring systems provide increasingly sophisticated tools for tracking restoration progress and forest health over time. Real-time data helps managers make informed decisions about follow-up treatments, additional planting, and adaptive management strategies that improve long-term success rates. International climate financing mechanisms, including carbon credit markets and green bonds, provide new funding sources for large-scale restoration projects. These financial instruments make aerial reforestation economically viable while supporting broader climate change mitigation goals and sustainable development objectives. Community engagement programs are evolving to ensure local ownership and long-term sustainability of restored forests. Training programs teach local communities forest management skills while creating employment opportunities in forest-based industries and ecosystem services, ensuring projects continue beyond initial planting phases. The extraordinary story of aerial reforestation in Africa represents hope for environmental restoration on a continental scale. Through innovative technology, international cooperation, and community engagement, millions of trees are being planted from aircraft to rebuild forests that support both people and wildlife across diverse African landscapes. These programs demonstrate that large-scale environmental challenges can be addressed through creative solutions that combine cutting-edge technology with traditional ecological knowledge. The success of aerial reforestation initiatives provides a model for forest restoration efforts worldwide while contributing meaningfully to global climate change mitigation. As we face the urgent need to restore degraded ecosystems and combat climate change, Africa's aerial reforestation programs offer inspiration and practical solutions. The trees being planted today will provide benefits for generations to come. Cleaner air and water, wildlife habitat, carbon storage, and sustainable livelihoods for millions of people. Thank you for joining us on this inspiring journey through Africa's aerial reforestation efforts. If you found this documentary educational and want to learn more about innovative environmental solutions, please subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. Your support helps us continue sharing stories of environmental innovation and the dedicated people working to restore our planet's forests. Together, we can raise awareness about these crucial conservation efforts and support the ongoing work to rebuild Africa's forests from the sky.